Hello everybody, it's Andrew Gamer. I'm back with Ancestral Legacy. As you can see from my background, I have moved. Uh, having three kids uh, kind of has to do that, or they want to have their own spaces, so I got relegated to here, but that's fine. Uh, so now, we just had that we met a spirit, and here's Aston Boat if you're the line of Lee, and now it's uh, late the next night. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh my. What's going on? Where? Why is there so much sweat? Are you okay, Mr. Lee? Your glasses. Can, can I get a glass of water, Aunt? Just a moment. I finally caught my breath after drinking the water the housekeeper brought me. Here, wipe your sweat with this towel. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? You look pale. Probably a bad dream. And you're not even wearing your glasses. Are you really okay? I've got... I gotta get... I can't get a grip. I don't know what she's saying. Are you okay? Uh, yes, yes. How am I supposed to explain this? Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to explain? Say, so how am I? Okay, I'm. I'm not sure. What's going on? Uh, ma'am. Mr. Lee. Grandma, you know? The mountain? The one in front of the village? Wait a minute. <clears throat> Why is our kind's face like this? What in the world happened? The spirit in the mountain. Spirits? Spirits? Get a grip. Breathe deeply. You're a mess. Whatever it is, catch your breath first. Okay, then tell me... Then let me take a shower first. Very well, do that. Dear, prepare at dinner so that we can eat when he gets out of the shower. <clears throat> a few minutes later, I was at the table talking to my grandmother, with my grandmother. So when you, are you planning to tell me the rest of the story? Give me a minute! <clears throat> I'm also human, so I'm curious. Uh, Grandma, I don't know where to start. I don't even sure what I'm not even sure what happened. What should I say? The mountain at the edge of the village where there's where there's a spot with weird colored stripes. A mountain. You're saying you went to the mountain? Looking looks away. <clears throat> I can see the housekeeper doing dishes out of the corner of my eye. Dear, you've done enough today. You may go. Ah, uh, I still have some things to do. Never mind. Nope. Housekeeper leaves and I'm alone in the house of the grandmother. told you not to go to the mountain. There are boars, and you might get hurt. 
I should have tried to scare the, a child. I should have tried to scare a child. It was unwise. It's not it, Grandma. That's not it, Grandma. Other shamans or people like that? Yeah, let's go with that. Shamans? These are some surprising questions. We're just talking about spirits. Why are you asking all of a sudden? Because I got scared! If there are things hanging on trees, you must talk about the entrance. You must be talking about the entrance to the mountain. The five colored fabrics and rock formations are part of the shrines of local spirits. Oh, you might not know. It's a remnant of folk religions, nothing special, but common in the countryside. And so that mean the charmers put them up? Maybe. Maybe not. This one said maybe not. Probably. Shamans. No, there aren't any shamans or such in our mountains. The mountains belong to our family. But we are not really... We don't really stop them. Then... People, spirits, I don't know what to call it. The spirit talked to me all of a sudden in the mountain. What was that? Here, yeah, what do you mean by a spirit? What do you mean a spirit? It's a spirit. That's what I said. The word spirit. In other words, you're saying you don't... You didn't listen to me and went to the mountain. I was told there was a way to get to the, the village. Then all around where there was five colors, strings, and rock formations. And you saw a spirit. Yes, that's what I was saying. What part do you know what I was saying? Yes. My apologies, I shouldn't bite my nails. What is the reason you're missing your glasses? Because I can see it perfectly now. I got 20, 20, 20 vision. I was so lost, shocked I lost them. Lost them. Yes, but the thing is, I think it fixed my eyes. So are you telling me to believe all this? Yes, Grandma. I'm telling you to believe your grandson. I can hardly believe it myself, even though it's, kind of, it's all coming out of my mouth. Even my grandma and I look at each other with disbelief. She doesn't believe me, guys. Okay, then let's just say you run into some kind of mountain spirit and receive a blessing. It's not it. I was threatened. That's not it. I was threatened. Threatened? <clears throat> it told me to really look and see and that he wouldn't leave me alone. That he wouldn't leave me alone. Then he asked me a bunch of questions, a bunch of stuff, and got all angry. And told me to fix them a mess. 
Say he asked about the line of Lee. Come on. <clears throat> Fix. Wait a minute, Karen. I'm confused. This all happened today? Yes, Grandma. It all happened today. It happened this afternoon. After I met the mayor. It's not a memory from the last time you were here? Of course not. My grandma doesn't believe me, guys. I know that now. To, to be honest, I was worried about how I tell you since I was so since I've been so scared. But when I got home, I thought about it and thought about it. It was so wild. Should we be safe? Can we noodle? Shall we noodle it? Yes, let's noodle it. <clears throat> country grandma and don't know about no there isn't anything we need to do it's not a spirit it's probably someone I know so don't worry there's nothing to be scared about grandma's gonna die you going to leave it? What kind of person can magically fix my eyes? I breathe. Enough! Let's, let's just... Let's just say that the weird things that happened today... It's all coincidence. It doesn't mean anything at all. Alright, a big deal. See? Consider it a nightmare and forget about it. <clears throat> that was daymare. So I'm saying there's nothing to worry about. Your eyes are just just got better, so let's be happy about that. Okay, Grandma. Forget. Grandma, do you really mean it? Yes, I don't want to anyone thinking my grandson's crazy talking to spirits. Yes. And either way, do not go back to the mountain again. <clears throat> Fixing my eyes like that. Like this. That makes no sense. I said enough. If, if this gets out person is going to get in tr trouble. He's someone I know, so you must be careful what you say. <clears throat> so we won't speak about this again while you're here. <clears throat> oh, it's happened. It's going to happen. But Grandma, my eyes getting better. I mean, scientifically, it doesn't happen enough. Go to bed. Oh yes, that's there. Stop talking. Go to bed. You get about it. I never seen her look at me like that. She always been so sweet to me, even if she talks so all serious. Is there something behind this? Why are you smiling at this? I will get some traditional medicine for you tomorrow. You shall take that. <coughs> From what I heard, there's nothing to, here to do in the countryside, so you are bored. 
and I'm making up stories, don't worry at all about the cost. But tell me if there's something else, if there's anything you need. Yes, I want you to believe me. Uh, but what? But why does my head hurt all of a sudden? Grandma? <laughs> yes, Karen? Can I? Can I have some water? My head. Where am I? I try to wave my hands around, but strangely enough, it feels like I don't have any hands. What the hell's going on? All I see is blackness. Try shivering. I get shivers all over my body. Ah! What a weak child. Huh? That is your response, even though we are we've already met. See it all of a sudden. <clears throat> no, because it took away your sight. I can't keep it together. What's going on? Just say it. It's okay. Something flies by me in the dark and grabs me tight. And off. You must choose your words carefully. Strength closes around my neck, letting strength closing around my neck lets go a little bit. I can barely breathe. <laughs> sudden because you don't believe I'm here to reward you for the promise made with blood made in blood what do you mean blood it is a result of the faith that you and your family have shown since the Lees first approached me <laughs> Result? You will forget this once you open your eyes. So I will tell you now. Think about what you want and wish for it. Wish for it in your heart. Wish for it in your heart. Then I will reward your faith. It is simple. And that complicated because then you owe my soul. How do you feel about this? A little weirded out. Won't lie. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
and simply offering the strength that in turn you want. I'm simply offering the strength to turn your wants into reality. That is all I am asking. <clears throat> no. No spirit in the history of spirits is all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I just want to make things happen for you. There's nothing else. There's always something else. Always. Of course. There will be consequences, right? There we go. Unconditional grand granting wishes. That doesn't even happen. Of course not. See? And shouldn't you tell me what those consequences are first? No. I won't. This way ship has ushered in has ushered in by man. Not I. Are you saying I can't run away from it then? Do you understand? I will allow you to see again. That is only the beginning. Even having this conversation is below me. Man. What am I supposed to want? I see in your heart that you will reach me soon. I'm glad for that. You must wish for whatever it is you desire. You must? What I desire? Good looks? That's good. Being tall would be good too. Riches. <clears throat> Is that the best? I I think it would be make life easier if I had even more money. Or popularity. Fame. Those would make everything so easy, wouldn't they? If not, just living a healthy, quiet life. I don't know. Yep. It's too hard. It appears that some ideas have entered your mind. All you need to do is desire it. That is all it takes to make them real. Choose. What I desire. say that a long healthy life is one of the most one thing is the only thing that matters <clears throat> I don't know about TV but like you said a long healthy life is a is the most valuable thing however variable variable sometimes is it is worthless when faced with the physical pain of illness Is that it? Of course not. Figures. <clears throat> There's something you must physically complete. What is that? You must remain with me and follow me for seven days. And if I refuse, I get some ruthless. I see gruesome teeth open up in the darkness. Death. If you would like to witness blood seeping through all the orifices of your body, if you do not leave, you will not need to witness such a thing. I will approach each night, or appear each night, 
I will watch all from within your eyes. Your own eyes. But don't worry. You shall... You surely will be rewarded. You will surely be rewarded. <clears throat> Is this a dream? It's up to you to decide those... Those boundaries. Dawn is approaching. I shall leave. Wait, can't you just stay in the village? I'm alone. Empty. Oh, I'm left alone completely empty for this. How am I supposed to wake up? Will I remember all this if I wake up? Let's wake up and find out. Wake up. Get up. Get up. You gotta get up. Wake up. Okay. I'm not gonna tap continue. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here, getting very interesting, of course, seven days and all that stuff. Um, but either way, this is Android Gamer, Lair Days, and happy gaming!